Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing today? So we've got a couple of people I can hear in the background. So if you wouldn't mind, either mute yourself or um, make sure that we've got, we can hear some people talking. So make sure that we're respectful for everybody that's on this last call that we've got here for managing the millionaire agent's um, office. And so very excited about just kind of pulling this one together. This one's actually probably going to be a short call and it's going to be a very, a very high participatory call as well. Um, what I'm really looking at doing is is getting getting your feedback and then let's ask let's answer questions that you may be having things that may be occurring you know where you've kind of over the last few weeks where you started at as we were taking this course to actually where you currently are right now so let's let's make sure that we have moved you forward that you have started to put more things in place. And so as we do this, what I'd like to do is, is just kind of start with, you know, tell me what are your thoughts so far over the last, I guess now we've been at this for six weeks. Um, talk to me. Tell me where, where you're at. Kind of, you know, where you started at, where you're at, what have you implemented, where are you going forward from there, and then we'll kind of get into the homework as, as people are starting to jump on here. We'll get into the homework that we had last week, give you the ahas that people had from there, and, and then let's put a game plan moving forward so that make sure that ev all of us are where we need to be and and moving in, a, in the direction to continue this progress. See... <clears throat> I've, I've had you while you were in this class, you know, I've been, I've been, been giving you homework been making sure that you're, you're following up those kind of things. My concern is, is what's going to happen after this course. So after this course, what are you going to do? What coaching program, what classes are you going to continue to use to make sure that you're moving that forward? Okay. So go ahead and type it into the chat window, kind of what your thoughts are. Any questions that you're having, um, you know, where, you, where your production has gone as far as, you know, <clears throat> keeping on the admin side of the program, where are you going for? Or you can just speak out if you're, if you're unmuted. We've got, we've got a little bit of background noise there. So if we've, you know, like I said, if you, if you have the ability to mute yourself, or if you're going to ask a question, you can unmute yourself down on the bottom part on the left hand side. You've got a, a spot there where you can actually mute your audio so that we can keep that going. So the chat window is down there on the bottom as well. You can put in your put in your questions down there. Any questions that you're having, uh, any thoughts that you're having over the last six weeks. So talk to me. I know we've got. Let's see, it looks like we've got. Got several people on here. <clears throat> Going once. Going twice. I mean, we may make this a, a really quick call today. So I'd like for you to, you know, just post into the chat window on a scale of one to 10. And I, I've got the homework from last week where everybody we didn't have anybody that was a 10. Yet, as you finished up and as you started going, a lot of people said, you know, hey, they've moved, moved, their, moved their purposefulness forward. And so just post into the chat window and, and tell me on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being everything is absolutely perfect that you've got rolling, you've got all the admin systems, you've got everything rolling at, at the highest of level, that would be a 10. So as you come down, just post in the chat window, you know, what, what are you seeing? How far are you, where are you currently at on a scale of one to 10? Seven, awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Heather, for, for, for speaking up and, and being participatory there. Where else? You know, go back, I'll go back to the bold law and you know, how you participate in here is how you participate everywhere. And so are you truly, let's play all in. Let's make sure that people are in here and let's make sure that we're helping each other get to that next level. All right, so we've got one. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Go ahead and share my screen. 
And uh, as we share this screen, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go through, looks like we still have got some people in here coming in as well. What I'm looking to do is I really would like for you to, to realize, you know, kind of what, what is available out there, kind of look at where our, where our, um, where our growth is, where our opportunities are. So as we look at our homework for the last week, so the last week, rate your current ability. What we had is we had two that were said they were a six. We had four that said that they were a seven. We had four that said they were an eight. And we had one that said that they were a nine, which meant that we all have room to grow. And so as we've got room to grow, you know, kind of let's, let's look at where we actually have that room to grow and what's our plan to improve for. So con concentrate on documenting one process a week. I love that because here's what happens. If you're documenting one process a week over one year time span, you now have 52, 52 total processes fully documented. Ladies and gentlemen, that's probably more processes and those kind of things than the average mega agent office needs. So it's just one documentation of that process every single week. Dig deeper into the 20%. Sit down with the mega and make a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, you as, as the admins and running the, mega, running the mega agent office, what you've got to do is you've got to really be, really be purposeful. You know, just because your mega agent says, hey, I'm getting ready to do this, this is what I'd like, and, and you take all the direction, sometimes you're going to have to go to the mega agent and say, hey, here's what we need. Here's the game plan to get it there. What are your thoughts? How can we make this a little bit better? Because I believe this is what's really holding us back from breaking through to that next level. See, it's called that managing up. You've got to be managing up. Uh, let's see. Let the have the agents handle the contract to close task with without needing to be CC'd on every email and task. Okay, so <clears throat> you know, as you're CCing and, and those kind of things, the agents, if you're the closing coordinator and you're CCing the agents, at first, I think that's where you've got to be. Got to be CCing them because what they're doing is that they've got a mental checklist a lot of times, they don't have a physical checklist. They got a mental checklist and when they go home, they're thinking through this mental checklist constantly. And as they're thinking through that mental checklist and going through that mental checklist every single day when they get home, what happens, that means they're carrying the job home with them. You know, oh, I wonder if that got happened. Oh, I wonder if that got happened. And so if you're able to, if you're able to come in here and, and allow them to see it at first, and then once you've built enough trust as a closing coordinator or an admin handling the closing side of the business, once you've built enough trust with people, then from there you start building that trust. The more trust that you can, you can build, at that point the agent can say, and most of the time they will tell you, hey, I'm okay if you don't copy me on all of those things, okay? Because again, they've got a mental checklist that they're going through every single night, and if, they, if they're not seeing that those items are checked off at the end of the day, they're carrying that stress into their family as well. You know they've gotten them checked off, you know you got it done, Yet, if you're letting the agents know what ends up happening is that they're able to complete, fully check out in the evening and know or truly be focused the next morning when they show up for lead generation, that they're focused and ready to go to that next level. All right, let's see here. Plan items that require more thought press earlier before the squirrels appear. Yes, as admins, minimum 30 minutes before your agents get into the office. Minimum 30 minutes before your agents get into the office. So that allows you that focus time without the squirrels that they bring with them. You know, think about agents. And like before you think about agents walking through the office and there's just a herd of squirrels that are tied to their feet. And when they come in, they, their job is to get those squirrels off of their feet. And so what happens is a lot of times they take those squirrels and drop them on your desk. And now you've got all the squirrels along with the agent squirrels. And so if you're able to get in, you're able to get your own squirrels off of your feet before, before the agents start coming in. And then you've got the time block. You've got your time block. And then they've got their time block. So again, you're not getting those squirrels until after their lead generation time. So it's powerful. All right. Uh, create and improve my systems. I mean, that's all of us, ladies and gentlemen. We all have the ability. We all have room to grow. We all have that. Let's see. Enroll in a coaching program and make good habits. Here, here's the thing. Let me, I want to go to here and just kind of show you. 
So there's a class that's going to start on October the 4th, Wednesday, October the 4th. It's called Monica Reynolds at the Perfect Real Estate Assistant, and it's a group coaching program through MAPS Coaching. And so when you're looking at that group coaching program that starts on October the 4th, here's what you're looking at. It's going to go, first session is going to be for the agent on October the 4th. Second session will be for the assistant on October the 18th. And then you have another session for the assistant on October the 25th. Then the next, the next call is not until October or until November the 1st, because that's going to give you a week in between there to fully implement, to fully implement everything that you've learned over those last two calls. Now that's key when you're taking this, this perfect real estate assistant class is that last week has got to be for implementation week. Right, you may even meet with your mega and say, "Hey, here's what we got to implement this week. Here's where I need your advice. Here's where I need some help. Here's where I need some guidance. And here's where I'm planning on getting us to over the next seven days." All right. Then you come right back in here on session four. It goes back to the agent, the assistant, and then the assistant for November and then December. And then you've got you know go into January. And this program will run all the way to March the 21st. When you get finished with this, you're actually going to have a full operations manual that you've created for your business that now your business before March the 21st is able to run straight into expansion because all your models and all your systems are already documented and you've already got processes to follow. And so now you've made them scalable and duplicatable. So when you go in there and you click on right here where it says new registration, just click on new registration, that's going to bring you to a form that looks like this. So it's going to say that this program, it's actually six months of $199 is what this program costs. And so they'll break that down into six months. You're talking less than $200 a month to actually get this program, this coaching program um, for 18 weeks. Now, you come in, you start typing your name. How'd you hear about, you know, how you would hear about it. It would be for me, the, the bold coach. And, and so you can just put in here that you would hear, heard from your bold coach. And then you also would, you know, my name, of course, J. Michael Manley. Everybody knows on that. And then click yes. Yes, the total cost is $1,094. Yet when you go in to pay, it's going to allow you to do that at six months for $200 a piece. Okay. So $200 a month for six months. And that's how you would pay that out. All right, so if you need anything on the Perfect Real Estate Assistant, I'll actually share this, uh, this link when I send out the recording for this call. We'll share that and send it all out for everybody. Get better on phone calls. You know, that's a big key is that we've got to realize is that when those phone calls come into the office, our job is to get them converted into an appointment sometimes. Now, <clears throat> I always th think about it in these terms. When you call the doctor's office and the doctor's, uh, doctor is not in, the doctor, the people that are taking the calls from the doctor's office, they have the ability to book the appointment. Now, are they diagnosing the person and they're saying, you know what, you know, here's, man, I'm just not feeling well. I've got a fever. My throat's really sore. You know, I'm real achy. The person that's taking the call is not diagnosing the problem. All they're doing is booking the appointment for the doctor. And so, you know, when we got unlicensed assistants, that's exactly what they're doing as well, is they're just booking the appointment for the doctor and the doctor is the agent. The agent's the one that's going to go out there and diagnose the problem, all right? As Diana Kokoska says, is that prescription without diagnosis is malpractice. And so remember, we're not diagnosing on the calls. We're just booking the appointments. Let the agents diagnose the call and do the, do, the, um, do the prescription out there at the actual house or in the appointment here at the office. All right, sticking to my time blocks, those kind of things. Again, time blocking is huge. And remember, time blocking, if you erase, you must replace. And so you've got to put it back into another piece of your schedule. So it was really, I really found the, this one to be interesting this week on the homework was what was your aha this week? And so I need to hold the agents accountable to the time block as well as theirs. All right, digging deep, work, working on my 20% is the best thing I can do for my business. It's, it's powerful. I can adjust my time block as necessary each day. Just remember, don't adjust it to the point where every day you're constantly adjusting it. You remember the time blocks are there and then sometimes life is going to happen. You may have, you may have a child that's got meet the teacher that morning or something like that. And so you may have to adjust. And if you erase, you must replace. Uh, time blocking in general, letting my agents know the importance of time blocking Here's where, and I'm not sure who actually said this, and I think it's just, it's so powerful. It said the toothbrushing thing. Our team has a way of giving up before things become a habit. 
Now, according to the book, The One Thing that Gary Keller and Jay Papazon wrote, it says that on average, it takes 66 days consistently to create a habit. And now we've only got five days a week, so we're missing out on the, on the weekends because we're not creating the habit of, of those items sometimes on the weekends. And so it's going to take us longer. It's going to create, take us longer to create that habit. Imagine going on a diet and you did a diet Monday through Friday. And then on the weekends, you said, woo, I'm done, dude. Imagine how hard it's going to be to get back onto that diet on Monday. And so I usually you know, recommend for people that when you're creating a new habit, take it through the weekend, take it through the weekend. It's, it's okay to take it through the weekend. You know, it may just be waking up on time and doing, carrying that on through the weekend as well. So it said, imagine if we let our kids give up with they, what they did and, you know, let's say just half tushy jobs of brushing their teeth. We were thankful that they were trying and kept persistent. I think that we expect perfection out of ourselves and out of each other too quickly. Remember that it could take you a total of 256 days, according to the, to the One Thing book, it could take you upwards of 256 days to create a habit. See, it's, it's progress over perfection, yet it's always driving for the progress. you got to stay on top of it. You know, oh, I didn't make it this week. Well, don't give up next week. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Remember that carefrontation that we talked about last week is that that carefrontation is not letting them slip, holding them accountable, holding them accountable to that because it's their goals that they're going to miss out if they're not. All right. So let me come back here. We've got... Looks like we've got several participants in here now. So let's stop sharing, come back to the screen. Let's see. I think when we started, I was a little overwhelmed. We like to use fascinated in that, in that term. And I was somewhat around a five, a four or a five. Though through this, I've gone uh, through the course, I've gone up to a seven. Ladies and gentlemen, that's powerful. When you think about what a four to a seven Actually, it's done for your mega and done for, your biz, for, for the business that you work with. Think of how powerful that is as moving. Now, one more six-week period with the same focus intensity that you've had, you've gone from a four to a seven. That could take you for a, a seven to a 10, just another six weeks. So you could potentially only be another six weeks from truly being a 10 in your business. And that's a pretty powerful aha when you think about that, that it's, it's just consistently doing something over and over and over and doing that compounding effect. See, what if you just took five minutes every single morning and you partnered with someone that was on this call and the two of you actually did script practice in the mornings of how to answer the phone. Thank you for calling the J. Michael Manley team at Keller Williams Realty. How may I help you? Or it's a great day at Keller Williams at the J. Michael Manley team. How may I help you? However, you're answering that phone, making sure that you're script practicing role playing to book the appointment. Okay. To go ahead and book the appointment because so, you've got access to all of your agents calendars. So let's talk about where else, where else is, where are some challenges that maybe we haven't covered in the millionaire real estate uh, office, managing the millionaire real estate office. What are some challenges that you may be having that were missed in this class that we might be able to handle over the next few minutes to help get you to that next level of where you desire to be. So <clears throat> you can post it in the chat window there. You can shout it out. Uh, let's just kind of get some participation in here because how, how you participating here, it's how you're participating everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Are you sitting in the back of the class with your hand down writing notes or are you actually asking questions so that you've got clarity on what you need to do and, and clarity to get to that next level? All right, so nobody's going to speak up this morning, speak up today. So what I'd like to do is the last piece here, and and I would like participation from everybody that's on the call on this one. I would like for have everybody to post tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is Saturday. I understand. Yet let's think about the next day of business. That is Monday. What are you going to do on Monday? What are you going to continue to be working on on Monday to make, make sure that you, as the admin, become a linchpin? You know, I think Seth Godin calls it the best. He wrote the book called The Linchpin. What is it that you, you could make your, do to make yourself so invaluable that, there's, that your position cannot be replaced? 
right? Could it be training new people to take over certain aspects of your job? Is it is so that you now go from a admin or an executive assistant or executive assistant to assistant executive? Right, making that shift so that you're not just you're, you're not just an admin. You're you're working that way to a director of operations. Some of you may even be a director of operations. You know, I think uh, Ben Kinney and Jillian Schnell really have an amazing, amazing piece of you know somebody that came up through the ad, uh, through the ranks of of selling real estate, moving into the admin role, moving into a, an assistant executive, and then moving on to now actually, I mean, for the most part, running the business. So Victoria Small says, uh, time blocking and working on your 20%. That's powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, if we're working on our 20%, then we are doing it. You know, as agents, they had five things. You know, lead generation, lead follow-up, go on appointments, negotiate contracts, and script practice and role play. We know they're five, they're 20%, okay? Who else? We've got all the people in here, so just post it into the chat window. What are you planning on working on on Monday to continue this progress? Executing the 411 for the week. Yes. And who are, you, who are you allowing to hold you accountable to that 411? Right? Is your mega holding you accountable to that 411? If your mega is not holding you accountable to that 411, maybe it's a coach. Maybe it's time to get a coach to hold you accountable to that 411. Or maybe, maybe you partner with, a, with another, another admin that the two of you hold each other accountable to your 411. Uh, my next big focus is documenting our systems to be able to train for new team members. Powerful stuff. You know, how about this? Even when, as you're documenting those systems, putting them in, if you're a member of a Google app, so if you're with Keller Williams, you're, you, everybody has access to Google apps. There's a, a part on there where you can go into Google Sites, S-I-T-E-S, -E Google Sites. And then Google Sites has a template in there that's actually based for an intranet. Now imagine if all your systems were documented and were all on the intranet, and now your agents can actually see those anywhere in the world. And so now you're starting to build your, build your systems, build your operation manual, build your processes, build your forms, build your links, everything is in that Google site, so that now you have an intranet, and as you roll into expansion, you're already set and ready to go. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Meg and I hold each other accountable to their 411s. Yes, sideways accountability is huge. Sorting my rocks into big, small, clarifying my 20% so I can say no to my own squirrels. Oh, yes, we all have our own squirrels. They're all there. You know, it's woof. You know, they start running across the desk and they, they pop up in the right hand corner with all those notifications. My, my screen's been lighting up with notifications of, of people opening emails and those kind of things. So, yeah, you know, making sure that you get rid of those squirrels. Powerful stuff. Awesome, Sarah. All right. Anyone else? So, <clears throat> here's what I've got to do, and I've got to make a few changes because my schedule is getting ready to change for October. And because I'm getting ready to launch Bold, and as we're launching Bold, I'm going to have four days that I'm going to be on the road back to back to back to back before I get home on Thursday night. And so I've got to look at my calendar and make sure that where I, I, my goal is, is not to move these, move these courses around too much. Um, and, and so what happens is that if I have to move them around, what we know is that participation is going to go down. So I'm looking for a time that we can actually do them every single week and keep them, keep them consistent across the board. Um, and so that we're not having to fluctuate and, and creating confusion on that. And so let me sit down and look at my calendar, look with, with my assistant, make sure that we find a time that we can get on that. And then we'll keep that through September and then October, November, and December as we roll through each one of these sections. And remember, the next one is gonna be contract to close. Contract to close will be the next one that we will walk, work through that manual and creating those systems in your business to take you to that next level. All right, now, how many people, let's say, uh, you can post in the chat window, how many people are planning on attending the Perfect Real Estate Assistant course as well? That's gonna be on Wednesdays. How many people would like to or plan to attend that course? You can post that in the chat window or, you know, kind of shout it out. I'm in. Next week is my last day. All right. 
Yeah, oh, currently in it. Awesome, congratulations. So Heather, may I ask you a question? If you're currently in it, um, oh, taking it again though. So if you're currently taking this course, what's been your big aha? Um, because you've taken my, my course, my Keller Williams University course, and also taken the, the Perfect Real Estate Assistant class that's a coaching program. What, what have been your ahas while taking that coaching program? I've taken it and I would like to take it again. So, so Terry, you, I'm, I'm going to include the link. Actually, let me grab that link. Heather says, helping with policy and procedures manual and holding the agents accountable. You know, that's been a kind of a theme, Heather, through, through some of the homework it is really how do I hold my agent, how do I hold my mega or how, hold my agents accountable um, without being mean? And so, you know, it's that care confrontation and really getting that at a high level on how to communicate. Um, yeah, it's stressful there. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so it's, um, you know, it's, it's powerful, though, when you actually can get that together and really kind of, you know, as admin, you know, we're high S, high C personality sometimes, and we're holding high D and high I accountable. And so it really, we got to make it about them as far as their goals. Yet you also can't so much sell it on their goals that they hit their goals and they're not concerned about anybody else with the team. Uh, mega, mega states for me that to tell, tell them what to do. It's hard um, to be bossy. Let's not look at it as being bossy. And, and I think that's, um, you know, something we probably all seen that story on, on Facebook or that meme on Facebook that says, you know, uh, shows this little girl point at this little boy and says, I'm not bossy. I'm learning how to be a leader. And, um, and so let's not look at it as bossy. Let's look at it as leading. And, um, there's a book that I'd like to recommend for everybody. It's a, yes, it's leadership skills. It's not bossy It's leadership skills. Yeah. And, uh, so let's look at a, a book. And it's called Developing the Leader Within You. And uh, it's by John Maxwell. He's got a new version of this one coming out. And he says it's not, um, I think it's really cool because he said the first one is, is kind of part one. And then the second one is part two. And so don't look at them as I, I, I got to wait for the second one to come out to start with the first one. And it's called Developing the Leader Within You. And uh, great book there to kind of help help you learn how to grow into your, into your leadership skills and, and be a better leader. Um, growth, not looking to change anybody. We're just looking to help you be a better you. Um, and so it's powerful when we get there. All right. So we got about two more minutes on this call as we're, as we're going through, you know, I'd like to, you know, if there's any questions, anything that I can help you with, I'm here to help you all and make sure that I bring value on these calls and help you get through that at next level. Uh, we'll be by the end of the next week, we'll actually get out the schedule for contract to close. And so we'll start working through that. We'll send out the books. We're actually um, going to upload all of these webinars. We're going to upload all of them to KWU or KW Connect. And so everybody in KW Connect will have access to all of these webinars. So if you know of anybody else, you know, feel free to share, um, share the links through KW Connect so that everybody can get access to them. Again, my, my goal is just to bring as much value to everybody as possible. And, uh, and really, you know, as a reminder, know that I actually work in the upstate of South Carolina, which that would cover Spartanburg, Greenville, Anderson, um, the three major cities there in the upstate. Uh, and, and so, you know, if you know of anybody that's looking to buy a home, sell a home or invest in real estate in those areas, we would love to be able to help them. I've got a full team there. My admin is amazing at making sure that referrals get placed with the right agent and also get followed up on and make sure that everything and, and keeping you informed on that. And she just does an amazing job of, of uh, holding us accountable and also making sure that you are informed of where we're at on the process and uh, making sure you're updated. So really, really powerful what Chelsea does there. All right, if there's no other questions or anything, I think that this we will deem this series closed and, uh, and we'll move on into the contract to close starting, it won't be next week, we're gonna take a week break and then we'll go straight back into it the next week once we have the date and time. And, uh, and you know, shoot, shoot me an email if there's a date or something like that that just absolutely will not work for you. Um, I really like uh, Saturday morning webinars because they're really, really, really work for easy for me because I can get them done before uh, the kids get to get to get up and running them and my, my wife gets up and running. Yet um, I, I won't do that to you because I know um, 
most of you are, are nine to fivers and not working on the weekends. So if that, if that will work for you though, definitely shoot me a message and say that would work for you. And, um, and we can really make that work. So, yeah. So uh, probably most of us at Saturdays would not work yet. Um, we'll find a time. It may be later in the afternoon, maybe right before you leave uh, from work one day or something like that. Uh, um, and get, get, get us so that we can make this happen and, and crush it to the next level for all of us. So go out there, may keep, Keep moving your businesses forward, four to seven. How powerful is that? Let's get it to a 10. And then uh, we'll have you on here teaching these courses and, and taking that to the next level. So go out there, be bold, and crush it.